is expressionism. Oh, not vandalism, expressionism. That and more tonight at 11 o'clock. Stockton Graph News footage, 1993. This was right in the heat of things when the city was taking away our legal walls. They chopped us all up and misquoted us, but it is what it is. Great memories. Street artists, that's what they call themselves. Well, tonight, meet a group of teens who say they won't throw away their spray paint no matter what. To them, it's not graffiti, it's glory. And vandalism, they call it expressionism. Pat Davis takes us to the street to find out what it's all about. It's just an art form. No artist, you know, any great artist was ever socially accepted. Said this man to cut his ear off. Instead of coming down on the drug dealers and the murderers and everything, they're coming down on us. Once it started leaking over to the north side where all the rich people live, they started doing something about it. They spend thousands of dollars a year cleaning up their property. And that's like taking, you know, that's like taking a canvas for a painter. We call this place the gallery. What message do you like to convey? Well, I don't know, kind of like, some people, they haven't even been where I've been, you know. So I'm trying to explain to them what it looks like. And the kind of stuff I've been through and stuff like that, you know. How does this help make the world a better place? Well, it kind of teaches people what's going on. If, you know, you take away this kind of stuff, chaos will break loose. I, think. I thought you guys weren't violent, that you're trying to improve the world. If you take it away, you know, we're going to get mad. Did it ever cross your mind, ever once cross your mind that, you know, this is somebody's property and I'm vandalizing it? Yeah, but I don't know, I guess I didn't care. Why not? I don't know, I guess they never did anything for me. I got a right. I got a right to be expressed. I got a right to be heard like anybody else. Why not be artistic in a notepad or, you know, at home on an easel? Why a wall? Well, get more recognition. This is like my canvas. What does this mean? What are you trying to tell people through that painting? Life's in the toilet bowl, I guess. I mean, look around. would say, why, why do you guys go out and deface a building? Well, this isn't defacing. What is it? Art. The street artists want the city of Stockton to give them a designated legal wall to paint. Surviving disguises, surviving all the lies, and surviving theft of the innocent rise, surviving all the cries for the lies sacrificed, and surviving with the courage be the change this time. Surviving disguises, surviving all the lies. This is an alien doom buggy. The whole kind of meaning behind it was kind of like you're um, you're standing on the moon and you're looking at the earth. So that's the whole the whole idea behind it all. Character over here. Mm -hmm. um, when the guy passed away, and we decided to put. In his favorite bench, a uh, character of him is sitting there on his bench. He was murdered last summer. That was in tribute to him. Yeah. Everybody loved you because we loved Jesse, and um, he was a part of the rooms and a um, big part of the community for us as well. So. Geo and them were doing this stuff up north. We were doing the stuff down south, like this. You know, a lot of really colorful stuff, and that's why they really liked it at the time. You know, and that was the early '80s. And these are all Case pieces. Case, Case was uh, another really great artist that went on for a long time in Stockton, and uh, he ended up getting cancer, and he passed away. But here's a good picture of of us. Uh, with Case and everybody. See, there's Case, and there's me and Craze, and here's Ivan, and Joey on the far right. 
This was inside of our shop, the first shop that we had called Bomb Threat. Bomb Threat, we sold t shirts, mixtapes, um, stuff like that. You know, we made our own silkscreen t shirts. And this was inside the shop, too. Some of the film that you saw are, are, you know, just as good as some of the millionaire kids that you see out there doing, you know, these big uh, pieces on, on canvas or whatever, and then selling them for a million dollars. So it's a trip to see. I'm glad to see people are still out there bombing trains and still doing things the way they do originally. And uh, I encourage everyone to go out and, and, you know, try your best with the spray can, do some artwork, whatever it is. You know, express yourself. Keep on doing what you're doing, you know. Uh, remember that your style is only your style and only one person can create it and that's you.